Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to play Lapu Lapu in Experience Lane. What the? Okay, he can still go for a core Alus. Well, that's a bummer. So jungler it is. Now let me just do this again. Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to play Lapu Lapu as a jungler and I'll be playing solo ramp here in official server. This is the build that I've used in this game and here is my emblem. So why am I using him? Is there something new about this guy? Well, to be honest, I'm more of checking him out. It's just when I look at the rankings, he's there. Even among the legends at the bottom part, he's just there. So it's like he's hunting me. Anyway, Lapu Lapu isn't picked much right now and I want to know why. I mean, is he lacking something? Is it about his skills? And that's what we're going to talk about. But before we continue, let me just get this cabbage first. I'm sorry Atlas. Moving on, while playing Lapu Lapu, I've thought of some reasons on why he's not picked much. And let's start with his nerfs. If we check his patch history, he had some good adjustments in the earlier versions of the game, and then this happened. I think this is where Lapu Lapu's popularity wants out. He's been given two consecutive nerfs, and as I can see, these are hard ones. But this is just one of the reasons. Now let me just gang our top lane. Since the turtle is about to spawn now, I think I'll stay here for a little while. teams have two casualties in that contest for the turtle. But since we got the objective, we won the team fight. Now, next on my list is, I think Lapu Lapu skills are a bit off. I mean, they're not totally bad, but there's some room for improvements. Now, let's start with his passive. Compared to other fighters, his energy takes too long to charge up. Giniver needs at least 4 attacks to activate her enhanced basic attack, and that heals her up. Argus's energy self-replenishes and can be gained when attacking or receiving damage. And his enhanced basic attack also heals him up. As for Lapu Lapu, he may gain energy fast when there are a lot of enemies, but what about when one on one? I think it takes too long. Also, Lapu Lapu's energy gain is halved when dealing damage against non-hero units. Whereas Giniver and Argus gain the same energy regardless if it's a non-hero unit or not. But before we continue, I think there's another team fight. Going on, Lapu Lapu's enhanced basic attack gives him a shield. Yup, you go through all the trouble of getting energy for a 3 second shield effect. I mean, the shield is not all that bad, but heal is just better, especially if you're trying to get HP back from attacking enemies. Now for the next turtle. Next is his first skill. If there's a way to improve it, I'd simply ask for the skill's range to be more flexible rather than it being fixed. I feel like it's a drag when you have to maintain distance first before using your first skill on an enemy. Not to mention, Lapu Lapu is a melee hero. Anyway, our top lane is getting harassed. Let's see if I can provide backup. Now 
now to push the tower here. Moving on, the last thing I'll improve is his enhanced skills after activating his ultimate. His enhanced ultimate has great mobility but it's more of an offensive skill where you need to be in the center of a team fight. Being in the center could literally kill you. So at least give his enhanced second skill a small dash after spinning to increase his survival rate. And I smell another team fight brewing. Lost the team fight, so I guess the third turtle is theirs. Request backup. Some people can never be conquered. Now, last in my list is Lapu Lapu's damage. It falls pretty hard at late game. He may deal heavy damage at early game, but as the game progresses and the enemies start to build more items, you'll definitely start noticing it. And since Lapu Lapu is mainly a fighter and usually a frontliner, giving him true damage could boost his overall performance. But I think that's asking too much. Luckily though, our enemies are composed of three squishy ones, and these ones aren't the type that bothers building defensive items. So this is one fortunate turn of events, and I guess here's another team fight. I'm wondering if I should retreat now, or not? I think I could provide some backup. I just killed their jungler. Time for the Lord. We were able to push 3 towers with that last lord. Now we're just waiting for a proper team fight to occur. And I think our tank is getting a bit aggressive. This is probably a bad idea. Let's do it! died, but we were able to kill three of them. That's a good trade. Now it's best if we could push some inhibitor targets. Here's their last inhibitor. One more successful team fight and the win is ours. We will show them what we are made of. For John Yeah!
I guess this is it. So what can you say about good old Lapu Lapu? What other skill adjustments can make him more popular? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.